Thank you very much. Big up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I'll split it into two. We'll do a, a quick bit of an update and then go on to the main 25 minute bit. Um, so my name's Chris Jones. Um, I did um, a talk to a group of landlords um, quite recently that we bought their a portfolio. Um, and these are a few slides from that presentation. Um, it was just to kind of settle the room a bit to say, these are the macro pictures behind what's going on in the economy and why you're, why you're all landlords. Just remembering that it's, it's okay to be a landlord and you do it for a good reason and, and all that good stuff. And then a few slides about how letting agents generally can help you because this was a talk that I did to a new group of landlords that I didn't know. So um, it's a few slides to, to talk through here. So four graphs that can that affects, affect let, um, landlords. So the interest rate graph, this goes back to 1975, pretty um, up and down in this period. And we'll all recognize this bit here interest rates have been incredibly low. This is a Bank of England base rate. So all the mortgages that have you got in that time have been very low. Shock horror, it's now gone up. So it's feeling very painful, to be honest, for a lot of landlords in the room, so myself included. But that looks like normal. If you go back this sort of period, it's kind of approaching normal. And my view is it's going to be normal from, from there on. It might come down a little bit, but we'll see how we go. So base rate has been has jumped and that's hurt everyone, hurt, hurt landlords with mortgages. Um, Rental price increases. So this is the annual variation um, and rents go up on average. Um, so in this period, it looks like about two or 3% um, and that's east of England versus the UK. Um, but over this period, so this is sort of a COVID period, they've jumped up massively. So our product gets more valuable, I guess. So we can charge more rent and this is the benefit of being in, in you know, property. So your house pricing rates and your rents increase. So those two things are trends that we are all in. We're all in that, in that trend there. Um, so we'll see what happens, but obviously just be aware of what the market value of your rent is, uh, of your property is, because it might have changed more than you might have thought recently. So have a look at that. Um, this is demand for our product. So we provide housing to the um, private rented sector. Um, and it's, it's doubled. So in two, 2004, it was about just over 2 million households are in the private rental sector. And by 2016, it was um, just over 4 million. So in that fairly short space of time, that market has doubled. So who knows where it's going to end up? I suspect it's not going to go that way. So it's probably going to go that way. So the demand for our product is going up. Um, our asset value is going up and the amount we charge is going up. So there's some, some macro stuff going on there. Um, and this is the um, house price index. So we all like to talk about house prices and what's yours, and what's, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you might recognize that. That's pretty painful for everyone. That was the crash. But in this period, if you average that peak and that, that trough, you could say around, around 5% in, in that period there is the average UK house price inflation. And as we all know recently, it's kind of rocketed again, but um, more recently dipped. So Savills put something out. Again, there's lots of commentators on house prices, but um, Savills most recently said 18% inflation in the next five years. So it feels like, you know, this inflationary trend will continue, not building land anymore um, in the UK. So um, the macroeconomic stuff feels to be playing in the landlord's favour, despite it, the fact it might feel uncomfortable at the moment. Um, so those are the, the things that are affecting us as landlords. This is a quick look at how agents can help landlords manage their business. So I'll canter through this stuff. Uh, property marketing, tenant screening, legal compliance, um, rent collection, property maintenance, financial management, um, the tenant relations is quite important, uh, market analysis, so we've just done a bit of that there, and um, vacancy management and emergency response time. So that's broadly what you're, what you're paying your letting agent if you use a letting agent to do for you. So those types of things. Um, so, this is the second half of the presentation, um, and I've called it the power of systems for the self-managing landlord. Um, and let's go into a bit about what I'm going to talk about in the next sort of 20 minutes or so. Um, a brief introduction, a bit more background about who I am, why I'm here, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we'll look at um, our business, which is Jones & Co Letting Agency. We're based in Norwich. Um, and I think there are about eight stages of a tenancy life cycle, um, and they all have um, tasks within those things that as landlords we all need to do um, at the right time in the right way and not missing a step kind of thing um, so what do we do um, and this is what do we do as a letting agency and what you do as landlords uh, self-managing landlords and, and how to do it maybe some questions 
So the question I had coming into this 25 minutes was, how can a letting agent give as much value as possible to a room full of landlords? Um, and the, the answer I came up with was, tell them what you do and, and how you do it um, to save time, money and, and hassle. So ultimately, I think what landlords do, self-managing landlords, is exactly the same as what an agent does. It's just that the agent does it on a, a bigger scale and because they're getting paid to do it, they can't get it wrong and they've got to have systems and processes in place to, to make all that stuff work. And if you hire people to do their job for you or your, your team, um, you need to train them how to do it and you need to know that they've done it in the right way at the right time, etc. So there are processes that an, an agent has to adopt that I think would be useful to sort of transpose back into a self-managing landlord's business. And if you can pick up anything um, in this next few slides, then that's my aim for today to get, take away some things that how we do things that you might be able to, to copy or take on board.